All right, folks, today we're going to be talking about my top five springtime lures and these techniques that you should be using during pre-spawn and the spawn. And so we'll start off going through them really quick, but I'm also going to tell you when you should use them based on the weather, the wind, water clarity, and how the fish are in the stages of pre-spawn and spawn. So, but to start off with, we've got a spinner bait, a square bill crankbait, lizard, a chatter bait and a bluegill swim bait and we're going to talk about pre-spawn and spawn so just a real quick definition in my opinion pre-spawn is when the fish are in staging areas and they haven't quite moved up yet they're still waiting on that water temperature to warm up a little bit and if you just watched our latest video we were fishing with a pre-spawn technique with this small june bug lizard so then the spawn is actually when they lock in on bed. So if you've ever, you know, cruised down a bank and seen a male and a female that were locked in, that's considered the spawn to me. So that's when I refer to it, that's what you want to think about. So let's start off giving you some tips on just pre-spawn fishing. So at this time, you're really going to want to use search baits, like a spinner bait, square bill, or a chatter bait, or really good search baits, or something like this small lizard on the hundy rig something like that that can cover a lot of water and find out where those fish are staging at that's going to give you you know really good chances of catching some pre-spawners so once we start exiting that pre-spawn phase and start going into that spawn my colors change my size of my baits change so for instance rather than throwing this color spinner bait in the pre-spawn once the spawn comes around i'll throw this color because the bass have a natural tendency to to fight off any predators around their nest. They're protecting their eggs, so a bluegill, anything bluegill or salamander, they're just naturally going to protect the nest and sometimes they'll eat it, sometimes they'll just, you know, nip at it, but they're definitely going to get you're going to get a reaction if you if you use a predator color during the spawn. So during the spawn, I'll swap from the small lizard, then I'll start throwing that big magnum lizard. You want to get a big profile bait, something that's going to look like it's going to do some harm to that nest. And I've had really good luck with that. Um, bluegills, swimming bluegills around the nest, those are really good. So the biggest two things with the color of your bait are going to be the water clarity and the time of year. The progression of the spawn, that's going to tell you which color to use. And then the wind is going to tell you which bait style to use. Higher wind conditions, go with a chatterbait over the spinnerbait. You know, calmer conditions, go lizard. You know, a square bill is really good for kind of either condition. You can throw it around wood. Now these are five baits that you've seen us use year in and year out. Every year we'll make a video with these five baits and it's something that we're going to do again this year. You'll see a lot of it. You know, we catch a lot of big fish with these particular baits in the springtime. And now I've saved my favorite bait out of this bunch for last to talk about. This is a custom painted bullgill swim bait and we've teamed up with TK Stanley out of Tackle Craft and we're going to be doing a lot of work together this year. He's going to be doing some custom paint jobs on a lot of different lures, crankbaits, swimbaits, topwater lures. But he actually went to the University of Alabama at the same time I did. And if you've seen on my social media here recently, I, I've nicknamed him Picasso because literally anything that I've told him to do, he can do it. He's got just some of the finest details and in his paint job, and he does a really good job on everything that he does. So you'll be seeing a lot of custom painted baits through our store this year. And remember guys, the pre-spawn and spawn are the best times of the year to catch those giant trophy bass because not only have they eaten and fattened up all winter, but now they actually, the big females have a lot of eggs in them and that could push them a, a, a full pound over their normal weight. So you definitely want to get out this time of year fish as often as you can try to take these you know tips and techniques and apply them to your pre-spawn and spawn conditions but most importantly just get out there and enjoy this weather and enjoy this fishing and we're actually going to give away one of these custom painted bluegills and in order to enter the giveaway all you have to do is leave a comment below and tell us what your favorite video that we put out in 2016 was and that way hopefully we can try to film more videos you know that that you guys really enjoyed so leave a comment below with that information and then get out there and catch some of those springtime fatties good luck folks